Suppose you are on an adventure with some friends, then it is very important to maintain communication among ourselves. At the moment, if your network goes down to no network, what to do then? Right now, it would be best if you use a walkie talkie to keep communication. So, keeping that in mind, I have created a walkie talkie. Through this walkie talkie, you can communication one to one within a range of one and a half kilometer distance. In this walkie talkie, okay, you are enabled to hear a good over. quality sound. I used 500 milliamp hour battery. So that's why you can run this device whole days on a single charge. It is very easy to create. So don't be afraid. I will teach you how to make it step by step. Watch the video till the end. This video is sponsored by JLCPCP. When I realized this circuit is very important for me, then I ordered this PCB on JLCPCP. That's why it looks so professional. As my opinion, this company make the perfect PCBs, which you will need for your work. They make simple but very professional looking PCB in very low cost. And without any extra charge, you could select 6 different color for your PCBs. Often red is suitable color, which I selected for this project. Without any doubt, you can order here your PCB. This is very reliable company. For more information, you can visit their website. You can make this walkie talkie within 6 steps. First step, power supply process. Here I am using 3.7 volt lithium battery to run this walkie talkie. But unfortunately, you can't run this device with 3.7 volt. So that's why you definitely need a boost converter to boost up 5 volt. And in this step, the another important subject is how to charge the 3.7 volt lithium battery. So that's why I am using here lithium charger. Step 2. How to catch voice. To catch voice, you definitely need a condenser mic. And this mic will give an electric pulse signal. And this weak signal goes to a preamplifier IC. Here I am using LM358 IC as a preamplifier. This is a good IC. This IC provides me a good amplitude microcontroller acceptable electric pulse to my processor unit. Third step, walkie talkie processor processing. I am using here Atmega 8. This is a low cost IC. And this IC has 8KB flash memory. And this is a 8 bit IC. You can use instead of Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, Arduino Mega as you want. Yeah, you must definitely need to program this IC. So that's why I am using my homemade AVR programmer to program this. If you want to know how to make this AVR programmer, then you can watch my previous video. I left the link in the description box. To make this walkie talkie, you will need RF24 master library file to make digital audio sense. And the code is really small. The code link also will be in the description box. Okay, let's move another process. The another walkie talkie providing transmitting data to this processor. And this processor convert this data as the analog signal to speaker for sound. Actually, how this processor work? Okay, I will explain you. This is quite easy. To collect your audio signal from your mic and provide to transmit another receiver. Actually, you can call this unit as a brain of this walkie talkie. Step 4. How to transmit audio signal to another device? To transmit audio signal, I am using here NRF24 Wi-Fi module. This is preamplifier version. This Wi-Fi module can cover up to 1.5 km. I think this is a good deal. Remember one thing, this module has required 3.3V, not more. Otherwise, this Wi-Fi will burn instantly. So that's why I am using here AMS117 regulator IC to provide 3.3V supply. Step 5. To produce loudspeaker. Actually, this Atmega 8 not capable to produce loudspeaker. So that's why you required audio IC. So keep it on mind, I am using 8403 IC. This is a 2 watt class D IC. Even this IC sound quality is me? too good. I think the sound quality is pretty good. And maybe you heard a very little noise. For my opinion, this is not a big issue for this walkie talkie. What you would say? Tell me your opinion in comment section. And this IC consuming very 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 low current. I think this is a good deal for battery saving. So keep it on mind, I start making diagram and after completing the diagram, I convert into PCB. And you can see this PCB design is not bad. Next step is, I order this PCB from JLC PCB. 
If you want to make this amazing looking walkie talkie then you can find all files such garber file, stl file, pcb layout, code. As always you can find the download link in the description box. After mounting all the component on the PCB, now time for primary checking. So that's why I hook up 5V on this board. Ok, now time to check fast transmit. So I want to speak something. Hello YouTube, can you hear me? I think this sound quality is pretty good. And maybe you can hear a little noise. I think this is not a big issue for this walkie talkie. And also I think you can hear some noise. This is for Wi-Fi transmitting noise because this sound wave is very low frequency. This will work actually as an old days AM radio. Step 6. Looks of this walkie talkie. This is very important part. I am very fresher to this kind of work. So this is my first design HTL file. So here I made mistakes several times. So guys let's go and see how bad I suffered to make this. First thing first to make this case, I measured PCB's wide height and also measured boost converter wide and height and here also include lithium charger board, switch, LED, speaker and battery socket. This work is very frustrating guys. Keeping it on mind all those measurement and calculation, I opened the application named Thinkercad which is absolutely free to use. Now I am going to design the holes for this switch and ports which will be situated on the cabinet of walkie talkie. Right measurement is very important at this point and have to make sure how much thickness will be set for this inner and outer layer of the cabinet. After the first print I see that the thickness is low. It can break apart anytime. So I reset the thickness and replace the position of LEDs and switch little different and before this I did a big mistake. That is I totally forget to put a screw holder on the upper cover to cabinet. So I fixed it in this time and now it almost perfect. I again make mistake the measurement I take to fit the PCB is little small. So now I don't have any choice so I grind the outer side of the PCB to set to inside. And set all the other component in it. Now it is looking good. What do you guys think? I don't have any issue on my walkie talkie. If you guys are having any problem to do this then feel free to ask me in comment section. I will definitely help you out. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. For my opinion this is not a big issue for this walkie talkie. What you would say? Tell me your opinion in comment section.